Well, the bad news is there is such horrible stuff going on in the news and in the world. Well, the good news, though, is that this all could be opportunities for learning and teaching our children. So with that, Dr. Margaret Sayers is joining us here at the Help and Healing Hangout. Clinical psychologist, worked with kids and families for more than 25 years. What can you say to parents to help their kids understand and make sense of it all? It's difficult because what parents are being called on to do today is to explain things that are basically inexplicable. You don't have to have all the answers, but what you need to do is create a space and time for your children to ask the, the, the tough questions and then work with them to try to understand. One of the things that you mention in your blog, which I forgot to mention is wonderful. You say challenge stereotypes. Could you speak on that? Children are at very high risk of forming stereotypes. And that is simply because they just, you know, they have little minds that don't, you know, haven't um, developed very complex thinking skills. And um, the example that I often give to parents is that when children are first learning um, language and they're learning to label things, usually kids learn dogs first. But what will happen is you'll be driving down the road and they'll see a cow and it has four legs and they'll point to the cow and they'll say, puppy. A mistake that's based on perfectly sound logic. You know, they were taught that things with four legs are puppies. And so it is very, very common for children to make mistakes in logic that lead to stereotypes. And I like to share this example of that happened with my own son. We were driving from my suburban Philadelphia home into the city where he went to preschool. And along our ride, it's a largely African American community and it's you know, probably a lower middle class community. And he said when he was about four years old, black people are poor. And now my son is African American and I had to say, that's really not true. And let's think of all the examples of people that you know who um, might be white and not have a lot of money or might be African American and have plenty of money and have a very nice house. Now that's when I'm talking to a four-year-old. If I were talking to an older kid, I would also talk about you know, injustice and inequity. I would mm -hmm. talk about the many reasons why you might see African Americans living in a, a poorer neighborhood in Philadelphia um, and that that really isn't, doesn't tell us anything about them or their character. It tells us much more about the situation. But that would be a conversation not for a four-year-old. That would be a conversation for a 12-year-old. And kids are great at sort of being gatekeepers of that information. They ask questions that they're ready to hear the answers to. And when you mm -hmm. start giving them more information than they're ready for, they find something else to do. <laughs> they wander <laughs> off. And then when they're ready for more information, they'll come back and ask for more information. You say it's really important for people to listen, people of all ages. The, the best way that we are going to heal in this country is by understanding people who are not exactly like ourselves. And that means being exposed to people who are not like ourselves, listening to their stories, and understanding that their story is different from yours. Um, you can't exactly know what it's like to walk in their shoes but you can really listen and trust that they know what it's like to, look, to walk in their shoes. Um, there's this hurtful thing that I see all the time, you know, in social media where people are saying, you know, racism isn't real because I've never experienced it, or that shop owner is not a racist because he's always been nice to me. Well, that's very, very faulty logic. Uh, and that means that you're not listening to people who are having a different experience. Uh, that's a great takeaway. Dr. Margaret Sayers will wrap up this segment, but more to come with you here on the Help and Healing Hangout.